have a good time Put a smile on your face, yeah Can't be caring Elation Radio mm-hmm. Even brighten your day And help you through the night Bring you good music Can't be caring Elation Radio And here's your host Hey, 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 everybody, this is your powerful Dr. Sylvia Hunter. 
Yes, good evening, everybody. Good evening, you victorious saints. Good evening, lotty dotty, everybody. Good evening, everybody. This is Apostle Dr. Sylvia Hunter with you tonight, and we're all with keeping it real. Listen, I'm so excited tonight. Hallelujah. I know you can hear it in my voice, but listen, that song was everything to me. Listen, that song was telling you to get ready, get ready, get ricky, ricky, get ready, because God is on his way back. We are in high expectation of the second coming of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, some of us going to be raptured up out of here. Some of us ain't going to die and go in the grave. Some of us going to be raptured up when he comes. The Bible declares that when the Lord comes this time, that, listen here. Hallelujah. Glory. Christ, the dead in Christ going to rise first. And then all that remains, that's us. We're going to be caught up to meet him in the air. Are you ready? For the Lord to come back? Are you living like you're supposed to be living? Have you done the work that he sent you here to do? Or are you still procrastinating? Oh, my God. We got so many procrastinators. Hallelujah. In the body of Christ. We got so many procrastinators in the world today. You never get things done. You, you always talking about, well, I want to do this. I want to do that. If my money was right, I'd do this. Baby, your money ain't got to be right. Listen, if God gives you a vision, he'll surely give you provision. He will provide. We know him to be Jehovah Jireh. Come on here, somebody. Go ahead and call a name and call a friend and let them know that I'm on the air tonight. Hallelujah. Let them know that she's on. She's here. And Ralph Farm tonight, she's keeping it real. Hallelujah. We're not, listen, we ain't come on here to lie to you. We ain't come on here to beg you. We ain't come on here to pump you up. We didn't come on here to prime you. We came with the truth. And the truth will what? Make us free. The truth will what? Set us free. Come on here, somebody. Aha. Glory to God. That song was everything. My daughter began to say, she said, Mama, uh, that sound, I said, well, that sound like a, a black Negro spiritual. My daughter said, no, nah, Mama, that sounds like a freedom song. I said, well, let me listen to the word. But glory to God, I praise God for it because God is on his way back. And it is time, high time, that we get ourselves together. You got to tell your sisters. You got to tell your brothers. You got to tell your family members, listen. Play time is over. It's been over. And if you don't get it right, you may miss God. You don't want them to miss God. But listen, if they don't want to hear you, listen, ask God to send somebody that they will listen to. It is time now to get in position, people of God and waiting on the arrival of our soon coming King. And Lord, we thank you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us get these accolades on out of the way. I want to thank Dr. Kimmy Kim. Hallelujah. She sent me something that was everything to me today. Hallelujah. I thank God for what he's doing in her life. I thank God for what he's doing in the uh, uh, with the Elations family. Come on here, somebody. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I stay excited. You know why? Because I ain't going to let nobody steal my shine. Hey, it's our time to shine. I don't know about y'all out there, but I hear that song of my spirit. It's our time to shine. Hallelujah. Last night I came on and I talked about the wait is over. God is getting ready to shine in your life. The wait is over. And so I'm not going to let nobody put no more W-E-I-D. G-H-T on me when God said my W-A-I-T is over. Y'all don't hear me out there. Y'all don't know when to shout. My wait is over. Your wait is over tonight. Glory to God. We ain't waiting on nothing right now. Everything God promises is being released. Everything God promises is coming into fruition. Our healing is in manifestation right now. When? Right now. When you want it? Now. When? Now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, y'all don't know when to shout. Y'all don't know when to praise God. But I mean, listen here, you always should have a praise break, honey. Sometimes things are going on, and you just need to jump up and start dancing. Sometimes you just need to jump up. They may look at you crazy, but that's okay. Go ahead and get your dance on. Glory to God, because I know some of you know how to dance, because you were dancing before you got saved. Come on here. Y'all better stop acting so super deep, saved. Hallelujah. You know how to do the funky chicken and the, the uh, popcorn and the... Uh, uh, Dougie Fresh and all that other kind of stuff that they're doing, the busted and all of that. Y'all know how to do it. Come on here. And the tick talking and the talking kicking. Uh huh. Yeah, y'all know. Y'all just want to play with the with old lady, but that's all right. Like, oh, to God. Come on here tonight. Let us go to God. <laughs> I got to laugh even if I'm laughing at myself. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to celebrate me tonight. 
Glory to God. So let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father, I thank you tonight. Hallelujah. I thank you tonight for what you're doing in the lives of your people. Father God, I'm, I, I got to get serious right now because even though we, we are in a happy time right now because of a verdict, oh God, but we still have to be wise in this hour. So Father, I ask you tonight to keep us wise. Lord God, keep us alert. Keep us on high alert. Every every uh, prophetic anointing that you've given your people, oh God, let them warn the people. Amen. Lord God, let nothing go. You said that you will do nothing except you reveal it first to your prophets. So, Father God, reveal to us tonight what your will is for our lives. And we thank you tonight, God. We give you praise for such a time as this. Use us as your mouthpiece. Use us as your vessels. Father, I submit my will to you. Hallelujah. And I thank you tonight for decreasing me where you might be increased in my life and get all of the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. So good evening again, everybody. Hallelujah. I know some of you have seen the verdict. Hallelujah. And uh, he had the uh, uh, he has been found guilty on all three charges. Amen. But listen, there has been all kind of crazy talks going on at the Capitol, uh, uh, at the White House today. Come on, listen. There are all kinds of talks, and they've been coming up against Maxine Waters all day. It started early morning. Can I help y'all? Uh, I mean, you know, I, 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 I listen. The Republicans. It's not all. It's just a couple of them. They done started already, you know, trying to say she's always throwing off, uh, you know, indignation and, and this and this and that and that or whatever have you. But listen, I'm going to just say this. Um, be swayed by your own opinion. Amen. Just be swayed by your own opinion. So if anything don't go right, at least it was what you thought, not what you believe somebody else, to, you know, wants you to believe. Okay. So anyway. Contrary to popular belief, I am um, aware of what transpired. I'm glad to see the verdict. It is a long time coming. See, the song didn't say I know a change going to come because it is. You know, you know that the high. <laughs> My God. A change is here right now tonight, people of God. And um, this verdict is a big win. It's a win-win. It's just not a win for the African American people, but it's not. It's a big win for everybody who has been, uh, uh, mis uh, who has been, uh, 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 who has gone through police brutality, a uh, uh, murder uh, when they could have just hit them in the knee or something like that. Now I'm not talking about you just taking a life. What has happened when, when, when there was a time when I was younger where they didn't shoot to kill? Come on here. I'm fixing to bring that up. I'm going to have to go to legislature if I got to go by myself. Uh, what has happened to the police departments uh, when they just told, taught you to shoot, not to shoot to kill, but you could hit them in the leg, something to stop them from running or whatever. Now they shoot to kill. And I just think that is wrong. Hey, Amen. It's wrong because you wouldn't want nobody killing your daddy. You wouldn't want nobody shooting your brother. Come on here. Or your son, your son. Come on. So um, we're in a time that the verdict has come down, and now we're in a time where we need to go pray. So for, for the saints of God, I want to encourage you to pray. I want to admonish you to pray. Don't laugh, lollygag. You, you thank God for the verdict, okay? We have to walk in wisdom. Those that are sanctified, you walk in wisdom. You don't sit up and gloat now because this ain't no gloating matter because that man died and lost his life. There's other children, children that have died and lost their life at the hand of the police officers, those who are supposed, supposed to protect and serve. Hallelujah. And so here we are. These kids don't even get a chance to become men. They, are st they were dying a boy. They're going to stay. They're going to, you know, they died a boy. They're going to be a boy. They won't ever be begin to have a life of manhood. They won't even know what it is to be a man because of their life being taken early. So we got to go in prayer because don't you know, just as well as we got that, that verdict today that the enemy is already plotting, he was plotting the moment, hallelujah, because you know that the, the judge was a Ku Klux Klansman. Oh, yes, he is. And yes, he is. And yes, he is. Hallelujah. But that that's neither here nor there because he, want, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. Had it not been for the jurors, that man would have walked free like all the rest of them. I mean, see, because they were dead. But we don't want to get into the political arena right now. But we will say this. Y'all pray. 
because you don't know. Yeah, they've been buying out all artillery. You go into every uh, academy. If you got uh, those places where they sell uh, guns, those places where they sell bullets and stuff, they have bought them out because they are, they were waiting for this day. They want to they want to do some damage, but I'm telling you, they better they they, they need to sit down somewhere and, and, and hear God. Come on here. Because God is not going to let you keep coming up against his people in this hour. You're not going to keep putting your hands on the elect. You're not going to keep putting your hands on those who God has called anointed. You're not going to keep putting your hands on whom God called his prophets. You're going to pay for what you do in this hour. Hallelujah. So they don't need to be talking about who they're going to grab and what they're going to do. I don't want to hear none of that. My prayer is that we can bring, that peace can come after this, that the peace of God can rest in us, rule and abide in us. That, that shouldn't be no smoking part is going on. Y'all shouldn't be getting high and getting drunk. This is not a get high, get drunk matter. If anything, you need to house a house of prayer. You need to call a prayer meeting and let the people pray. Glory to God. Some of y'all going to be so lit in a minute. Before 7 o'clock, y'all going to be high off drugs, alcohol, and everything else. But see, that's what the world does. We can't do that, people of God. We need to pray. Because on the 24th, there has been some. I've not seen it. And one thing about me, I don't like to really get out information that I don't know, that I have not researched. But it was brought on my prayer line, something about uh, 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 on the 24th that they were going to um, – it's a hit out on to rape the women and children, right? Uh, to wait to rape women and children on the 24th of this month, which is the weekend. Now, I don't. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not seeing it on social media. I have not been on social media casing it like that. I can't be on that at line. I can't. I gotta do what I'm do. What I'm called to do is produce what push what God has told me to push. Other than that, I can't. I'm not seeing it. So don't quote me on this. I'm just telling you what was brought to my prayer line. And so I'm not. And most times I get so many things that happen. And, and, and she said that the police know about it. So if the police had this and they know about it, it would have came across some of my screens because I'm down, I'm uh, logged into certain things in the White House and certain things in the dark web. So I've not seen it. So don't quote me. I'm just giving you false, uh, uh, I'm just putting out there what the secular world is trying to put out there. And if that be the case, the secular world, because, you know, they they put out stuff that they want you to know. That's false media. All right. Media, the news media, they tell you uh, a vision. They, that's why it's called television. They tell you the vision that they want you to believe. So everything you see ain't true. Everybody that they say died of COVID-19 did die of COVID-19, people of God. Come on here. They did not die. Some people already had underlying issues that caused them to die, and it wasn't COVID. But because the hospitals get, and the doctors get $35,000 at every time they say that a person died of COVID, they get paid. That, oh my, y'all better research it for yourself. I ain't got to, what but I'm telling you, I've already researched. But now as far as this prank or whatever they're supposed to be doing on the 24th, I'm not sure. So this is the thing. We're going to pray and so that that does not happen. We started this morning, but I don't want people to get scared. I don't want y'all to be operating in fear. I don't know if it's true, but if it is true, we will already tackle it in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. And we thank the Lord tonight. I want to keep myself, uh, make sure I'm on, on time limit. Amen. We thank God for every one of you that are listening tonight. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Don't let this be your last time. Hallelujah. And we're going to go ahead and get into the word of the Lord tonight, if that's all right with you. Amen. Hallelujah. We're coming from a very familiar scripture that we all should have been living on. If we ain't never lived under it, we should live on it under, have been living on it since uh, COVID-19 has been here. Let me tell y'all something. It is 2020. One, 2021, we went through COVID and God brought us out. Some of us have not had COVID and, and some of some of you have had COVID and God healed you. So this is my thing. It Listen, it is our time. 
This is our season to shine. It is our season. God's getting ready to bless the saints. Those of you who didn't give up, God getting ready to bless you. It is your time to be blessed. So don't you make nobody make you feel bad about what God is doing in your life. If God allows you to go out there and buy that Mercedes Benz or that Tesla, and I ain't talking about with no PPP money, because that's a whole nother issue. But if God allows you to go out there and buy yourself a nice toy, hey, listen here, don't you put I know some saints, when God bless them with a vehicle, they don't even drive it to work. They keep it hid in the garage. They don't want them, nobody seeing what they got. I say, y'all just as silly as you want to be. Because if God bless me with it, I'm not going to hide it from nobody because it is my blessing. And you don't know what I went through. You don't know the cost that I had to pay to get this car. So why are you worried about it? There are many of them out there on the car line. It's just a note, as my husband say. It's just a note. Go get you one. Hallelujah. So don't you make let nobody make you feel bad because now you don't work at that job no more because God has elevated you. God has raised you up. God done put your, hey, hallelujah. He done put my son down. He done put your feet on a solid foundation. And now you're making more figures. You got more zeros behind the, oh, my son the amount of money. This year, you making more money than the law allows. And you ain't selling no drugs. You ain't selling your body. You ain't up my son down. Things that you ain't doing for, but you're doing right by it. You work for it. You were educated for it. And some of you didn't have degrees, but God still promoted you. Come on here, somebody. Some of you on jobs right now that you don't even have a degree for, but because of the grace and the mercy of God, that's why you in that position. Y'all might as well tell the truth and shame the devil tonight. Hallelujah. But we're going into a uh, familiar scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And again, I'm going to be coming out of uh, two Bibles. Amen. Tonight, hallelujah. We bless the Lord for his reading. Hallelujah, glory. But I hope y'all got everybody on the line now. Because I ain't going to be waiting on them all night. Glory to God. Time is not, time is ticking and it's not waiting on us. We're here today. We're gone today. Get your houses in order, people, because the Lord is on his way back real soon. Repent, 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 repent. Hallelujah, repent and get baptized. Some of y'all ain't never been baptized. You got to go down in Jesus' name. Come on here. Some of us went down in the traditional name. We went down in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But we got to go down in Jesus' name. Uh-huh. Y'all will learn that too. Amen. Glory to God. Let us go. Um, let us go to uh, Psalm 91. The, the 91st division of Psalm. I'm going to read the entirety of it. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not that many verses. Amen. You Bible scholars, y'all walk with me now. Let's walk together. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall Cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy book, thy shield, and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come not thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, ad, adder. the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That is the word of the Lord. Amen. 
So listen, let us do one thing right now. We're going to counsel our fear. Some of you are so fearful. You know, um, it's one thing to be fearful, and it's one thing to be aware. Okay? Let us talk about being aware. Being aware of a situation means that you are aware what can what may or can fly off or what may not fly off, fly off. You are aware that of your surroundings. You are aware that you got good and bad on each side. Come on. You got good people. You got bad people on each side. So you're aware of that. So when you are in certain places, you got to look at your surroundings. Always, uh, always seek out what's going on in the room. You always look at the, the, the way the people are interacting. Look at their body language. Come on. This is what I do. I look at their body language. I can tell when people, because see, when I come in the room, I can tell when all eyes on me. Hallelujah. Because sometimes the anointing that you carry may cause it when you come in the room that everybody pay you attention. It is not because you may look all that fly. It's just the anointing. It's just the anointing. Somebody say it's just the anointing. Hallelujah. Your anointing, hallelujah, will interrupt the plan of the enemy. Y'all better hear me tonight. Your anointing can interrupt the plan of the enemy. Honey, when you walk in full power and in your anointing that God has given you, it'll interrupt his plan. It'll interrupt every plan that the devil tried to do to you. Come on here. But see, when you come in and you're all scared and you're timid, never go into a job uh, interview being timid. You don't may not know what the job uh, entails, but honey, you act like you know it, know that and more. Come on here. You keep your head high. You uh, uh, held up high. You look them eyeball to eyeball. Don't you ever look down because that's a sign of weakness. Looking down is a sign of weakness. It's a sign of uh, insecurity. It's a sign of not being sure of yourself. Hold your head up. You may not have it all together, but baby, you look them in the eye. And I'm not telling you to fake it till you make it because you can talk your way up on the blessing. You can look them in the eyes and not and be scared as you want to be on the inside. It's just your nerves. It's just your nerves. It's just your nerves, honey. I'm telling you, but listen, don't you sweat. You never let the devil see you sweat. Y'all getting, some of y'all are getting so caught up in what the world is doing, and you, you, you it's showing. It's showing. It's showing. You're you so timid about, oh, oh, they gonna call me tonight. They're coming to the house, and they say they, they're coming, they're looking, they're searching. Well, did you do anything? If you ain't done that, what you worried about? <laughs> Y'all got to stop fear. We buying fear tonight. For God have not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, but a power, love, and a sound mind. But a power, love, and a sound mind. Hear that word, Lord, again. Power, power. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So why is it that all of these people that say they Holy Ghost fear are the scariest people that you want to see? They are the weakest people that you want to see. You got people on the street that ain't scared of nothing. Come on here. And they're some of the sweetest people you want to meet. They'll have their back more so than these so-called Christians. Come on here. Hallelujah. They run out there. Anytime somebody say something against them, they run it. Hot and running and tucking their tail. Come on here. See, God can't use you on the front line. Not so you get some courage. You got to be bold and courageous in this hour. You know why they don't like me? Because I ain't scared of them. You know why they don't like me? Because I'm just crazy enough to believe that God's going to have my back. When as long as I'm telling his truth, he's going to have my back. I'm crazy enough to believe that. Everybody gets scared. Oh, no. I, oh, I can't say all that on my TV show. I can't say all that on the radio. Oh, I couldn't get on Facebook Live and say that. Well, that's you. But don't try to box somebody else in because they can't. Come on. Support them. Pray for them. Pray for their way of being. Ask the Lord to let his angels be encamped around about them. Because we need prayer. You want to be on the front line. You want to be in the who's who's. You want to be in all the big stuff, big name stuff, but you don't want to do no work. Uh-uh, honey, don't work like that. Any, anybody in the streets know that you got to put some time in in order to get street credit. Well, on the Lord's side, you got to put some time in in order to get some power. <laughs> you got to make, you got to pay your dues. Come on. You don't just come over here and say, well, I'm going I'm to stick in over here because it looks a little safe. No, you got to pay your dues like everybody else. Come on. And there's a there's stages that you go, there's stages, there's levels to the anointing that's on your life. And listen, everybody ain't on the same level. We didn't start out the same. And when, when I might have started out before you, so why would you expect to be on my level when you just entry level? Come on here. Now, there is rank in the kingdom of God. Mighty God, hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, y'all don't want to praise him. I, I feel you. It's okay. <clears throat> Glory to God. Let us go back to the word of the Lord. 
He that dwelleth, all right? Okay. Amen, amen. So you sit down in the most high's presence. Spend the night in Shaddai's shadow. We say El Shaddai. El Shaddai shadow. Say this, God, you are my rest. I trust in you and I'm safe. How many of you know that you're safe in his arms? How many of you know that we're safe? We got we have safety in the arms of God. Hallelujah. We can have the righteous run in and they are safe. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the most high. We are safe in his arms. We find safety in his arms. We find safe. There's safety in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Come on here, somebody. Glory to God. The Bible talks about said, when my mother and my father have forsaken me, then the Lord will lift me up. See, God, there's safety. When people forsake you, there's safety in the arms of the Lord. Mighty God. That's why he rescues you from hidden traps. Mm -hmm. He shields you from deadly hazards. He stretch out, stretch arms, protects you. See, <clears throat> that's so far our arms can go. God, God can just put one, he can put one finger out and scatter his whole world. He can knock the whole world down with his one, one, one pinky finger. You know what I'm saying? Because he's God, he's big like that. See, we, we were out here trying to, we, Lord have mercy. We fighting against each other when our war is against the devil. When you get on the right team and you begin to fight the right thing, then you, your life will go a whole lot better. But as long as you're fighting each other, you're fighting your sisters and brothers in the Lord instead of teaming up and fighting the devil, then we, and only then when we team up will we win the war. <clears throat> but as long as you war with each other, you got to stay in constant warfare. You're going to stay in constant fight because you're fighting the wrong one. It ain't your leader you should be fighting. It's the devil. Hallelujah. It ain't your husband you, be, you should be fighting. It's the devil. Come on here. Mighty God, help us tonight. Under Okay, his, his huge outstretched arms protect you. Under them, under his arm, you, perfectly, you are perfectly safe. His arms spin off all home. When the Lord has stretched his arm, listen, even the devil knows when you are in protective custody. Can I help you tonight? When you are in protective custody, hallelujah, the devil knows. Okay, let's go back to Job. Hallelujah. When the Lord said, well, have you tried my servant, Job? Uh, and then you know the devil said, well, yeah, you say you're an upright man. He's an upright man. I'm paraphrasing all of this, but it's that in the book. You know, the Lord said he's an upright man. Who was, the Bible said he a shoot evil. Mm -hmm. Meaning he didn't get in no evil. He didn't do no evil. He walked away from evil. He didn't. He didn't be a partaker of evil. He wouldn't walk. He didn't listen. He didn't have friends. He didn't partake in evil. What evil do? Come on here. Neither was he envious against the workers of iniquity. My God, tied on together, Jesus. But I'm telling you. And then, and then the, even the devil told him. He said, Now listen. I tried it, but listen, I I can't do nothing with him because you got a head of protection around him. So even when God stretched out on. Hey, safety. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He protects us because we are in protective custody. When you are under the hands of the Lord, when you are in the arms of the Lord, you are in for what? Protective custody. I believe I have class tonight. Ah! Glory to God. Who, who came to school tonight? Who came to school tonight? Mm-hmm. I did. Glory to God. Fear nothing, not wild wolves in the night. No flying arrows in the day. Listen here. I won't be afraid. You ain't going to make me be afraid of the terror by night. Yeah, the devil coming in. He creeping in. Yeah, he's a creeper. He's a creepy crawler because he have no access. Anytime somebody got to steal and kill in the star, he got to steal his way in. He can't walk in the door. Only way he walk in is because you give him access. Any other way, he's operating illegally. He's trespassing. He's an illegal trespasser. And you know what they do for illegals now? Oh, I know y'all ain't heard. Mm -hmm. Well, you ain't send the illegal people. They send them on out. They send them on their way. So we're gonna and we're gonna excommunicate the devil tonight. He's no longer wanted. He's no longer needed. He's under our foot, and our foot is on his neck. Come on here, somebody. It's time for you to put the devil in his place and stop letting the devil run havoc in your house. Stop letting the devil take over your house. Stop letting the devil steal your husband. Stop letting the devil steal your finances. Stop letting the devil steal your joy. Steal your peace. The devil, and listen here, it's over. The wait is over. He done had his time with me. He done lied to me. He done told lies to everybody. He tried to, oh my God. He tried to discredit my name. He tried to destroy my character. But listen here, the wait is over. And I'm walking in my new season. And nothing he does, hallelujah, is not going to stop God from blessing me. Nothing the devil does against me will stop God from moving his hand on 
my life. Nothing the devil does against me will keep me out of heaven. I'm telling you, God knows us by our name. Hallelujah. Thank God. I thank you tonight for being a good, good father. Mighty God. So we are in protective custody. Even Satan knows. He know he can't touch us. He knows he got to remove his hand. He know he got to tell his them, go on, go on, y'all, go on for they eat you alive because they ain't they armed and dangerous, and I can't touch them. That's right. Sit on down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. <laughs> Glory to God. I won't be afraid of the terror by night, nor flying arrows in the day, not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts at high noon, even though even though others succumb all around, drop like flies right and left. No harm will even get grazed me. It won't graze you. You'll stand untouched. Watch out from a distance. Watch the wicked turn into corpses. <laughs> Watch, listen, the Bible begin to declare. He says, listen, don't you fret yourself because of evil doers because they're going to soon be cut down like the grass and will as the green earth. They're getting ready to wither. They're getting ready to crumble. Mighty God. <clears throat> so we're going to be able to watch it. We ain't going to die. God's going to let you live to see your enemies come to your come to their knees. Some of them you're going to have to pray for before we take them up out of here. Hallelujah. And some of them need to come back and apologize. And God done told them to come back. They ain't moving real slow. For, I guess uh, that's on them. That's between them and God. Once you release them, once you gave forgave them, you release yourself from that. So it's in the hand of God what he's going to do to them. All you can do is, you know, you can try to pray for them, but when they, when they are turned over into a reprobated model, when they're turned over into a hand of an angry God, there's nothing we can pray. And I don't care how hard you pray. You can cry your eyeballs out. It ain't going to matter to God. They don't move him. My God. Ah, yes, because God is our refuge. The high God, your very own home, evil can't get close to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know how the enemy is trying to, you know, I'm telling you, um, how he does, he try to, when the enemy can't get you, he always try to get those that are closest to you. I can't express that enough. If he can't get you, if he can't have his way with you, if he can't take you out, he's going to try to take out your children, your husband, your 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 nieces, your nephews, because that's the way he is. He's, he don't play fair. So why y'all keep giving him all this credit? Street, street credit, church credit, you give him so much credit, he don't deserve it. Glory, uh, all glory belongs to the Lord. Evil can't get close to you. Harm can't even get through the door. He ordered his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, <laughs> they're going to catch you. The angels going to catch you. Your job is to keep you uh, from falling. They, I mean, I'm sorry. Their job is to keep you from falling. You'll walk unharmed among lions and snakes, lions and tigers and bears. <laughs> they won't even harm you. Y'all don't hear the word tonight. My God, and kick young lions and serpents from the path. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care. If you only get to know and trust me, call me, God says, and I'll answer. Be at your side in bad times. I'll rescue you, then throw you a party. <laughs> I'll give you long life. I'll give you a oba shanda rabooski yanda. I'll give you long life, my God. Hallelujah. God wants to give us long life. Will I satisfy you and show you my salvation, my God? That is the word of the Lord. We're standing under Psalms 91. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of his word. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. So here it is, people of God. We're going to stay under Psalms 91. We're going to stay under Psalms 91. We're going to confess Psalms 91. You can turn your Bibles. If you're so fearful, turn it on Psalms 91. <clears throat> Before you go to sleep, keep your Bible open. Sleep in it. Lay your head in Psalms 91. I'm telling you that time, there have been times when sometimes I would have to open up certain scriptures and lay my head in the Bible. I'm talking about where God gave me rest, where he gave me peace with his word. I laid in the word. Sometimes we, we read the word, but we don't digest it. We got to read it now. We got to digest that word. We got to let it in. We got to take it in. We got to let it rule and abide on the inside of us. 
the more you read it, the better you're going to get. The more information you're going to get, the better understanding you'll have. Not only that, God will give you revelation. It's nothing like getting revelation from a word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So God wants to deliver us. He wants to deliver us from the wicked one. He done told us that we do all these things. If you just, listen, stop being afraid of the terror, terror by night or, or the, air, the arrows that fly by daylight. Listen, don't be afraid. Listen, God tell you a thousand going to fall at the outside and 10,000 at your right hand. But it ain't going to come nigh you. It ain't going to hurt you. My God. Hallelujah. It even goes on to say, hallelujah, that you're going to tread upon the lion and the bear, and the, not, I mean, the tiger and the bear, the lion and the antler. But listen, all of these things are under your feet. We getting scared over what people say they're going to do to us. Uh, because they're trying to hurt the real collector call and let them call. If you ain't got it to pay, tell them when God bless you to pay it. I mean, give you the money, then you're going to pay it. Amen. Tell them that. And see what they'll, they'll stop calling. <laughs> you're going to have what you decree. I'm telling you. If you shall decree a thing, the word that you shall decree a thing, and so shall it be. I'm, so I'm decreeing over my life. I shall have what I decree. I shall have whatever I decree. If I speak it, speak it, speak it, I'm going to have it, have it, have it. See, now that can go both ways. You can have, you can, you will have what you say, whether it be good or bad. Speak life, people. Speak life over yourself, over your situation, over your family. Speak life tonight. Don't let the devil catch you speaking negative. You speak life because the devil is listening so he can run with every word that you say. Hallelujah. A lot of times we are in warfare. Because God has given us assignments. And sometimes in order for us to, to really, uh, till we get to the assignment, to do the assignment, we come up against uh, great warfare. Amen. And that lets us know that how, uh, you know, sometimes once you get in this thing and growing up in this uh, thing called ministry, you'll understand that the warfare is just an indication that what God is going to use you to do is going, somebody going to get sealed. Somebody going to get delivered and set free. Somebody's life is going to change. There's never a time that God sent his people out to do something and, and they obey God that God didn't move. God will move if you submit yourself to him. God will move if you surrender your life to him. I'm telling you tonight, some of you on this line tonight may not be in the right place with God. And if you will just submit your life to God, if you will just say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I made a mistake. Lord, I wronged you. I wronged whomever you wronged. You got to talk to God because you know what you did. Do you confess your sins one to the other? Confess them. Tell God what you did. Tell him how godly sorry that you are. God is the one that can forgive you of your sins. Come on here. I can't forgive you of your, I can forgive you of what you might have done to me. But things that you've done to yourself and to others, that comes from God. Come on. But God will and he can forgive you. And he can put you, put you back on the right road. What you, when you have been in, out of alignment, God can straighten you up and put you in alignment, back in line, in alignment with his word, his will for your life. Tonight, I want to admonish you. If you don't have God in the pardon of your sins, I want you to come to Jesus just like you are. Because, see, if you try to say, because I'm so sick of these excuses, well, I'm going to come to church as soon as I get, as soon as I get myself straight. Baby, you will never get straight to come to church. Ain't nobody going to never, because you can't fix yourself. See, that's the thing. We're trying to fix ourselves. What are you fixing yourself for? Come as you are and let God fix you. Because it is God that do the drawing anyway. The Bible says he who wins souls is wise, but it's God that does the drawing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tonight I want you to come to Jesus just as you are. Hallelujah. And we thank you tonight, God, because your yoke is easy, God, and your bird is the light. And if we give our cast our cares to, uh, uh, on the Lord, cast our cares upon him, for he cared for us tonight. And I'm telling you, God will make happen what you thought that couldn't be possible. See, because he is the God of impossibilities. He make them possible. Well, we, well, they may be impossible with us, but all things are possible to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And we just bless him tonight, for he is such a good father. He takes care of his children. And I'm so glad that I'm one of his children. Amen. And tonight I'm excited about receiving the Abrahamic blessing because Abraham was our spiritual father. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's time for us to receive the Abrahamic blessing. I know some of you have been waiting a long time for some things to come to pass. But if you had, a, if you had, a, if you just keep praying, honey, 
they will come to pass. I don't care if you've been waiting 20 years. God's still going to save us. Yeah! I know some of you saying, I've been asking God for a husband for 20 years. But God still, if it's for you to have, you're going to get it. If God told you you were going to get married, you just wait on God. Amen? Because you don't need no calm. And let me just be quiet on that. But <laughs> glory to God. You need a real man that love God and will love you like he, like God loves the church. Amen. We thank the Lord tonight. So at this time, Dr. Kim and Kim, let's open up the phone lines. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad tonight. I hope that you were blessed by the word. I want y'all to remember to stay in Psalms 91. Some of you open your Bibles up on your dressers. Open the Bibles up in your head. Lay your head, rest, lay your head in your Bible and let Psalms 91 minister to you. Hallelujah. Tonight. Rest in it. Amen. And we bind the spirit of fear right now. So at this time, when you come on, let us give everybody an opportunity. For those of you that are speaking tonight, speak clearly. I want you to tell me the state, the, your name, the city and state that you're calling from. Amen. Amen. Good evening, caller. You are on the air. Good evening, caller. You're on the air. Mm-hmm. Sounds like somebody sleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good evening, mm-hmm. caller. You on the air? <laughs> Good evening, caller. You on the air? Hey, Apostle, how you doing? <laughs> I'm blessed. How are you tonight? I'm doing just fine, Apostle. I just want to say I enjoyed the word on tonight, and I pray God adds strength back unto you, which you have poured out. Well, thank you, ma'am. What city and state are you calling in from? Mobile, Alabama. Woo-woo! Mobile is in the house. Glory to God. I bless the Lord for you, Mama God. <laughs> Yes, Lord, I bless God for you. Listen, a prophet is not accepted in his own country. I want you to start getting that in your spirit. You'll never be accepted in your own country. You hear me? In your own region. So God will send you to other regions. He'll let you plant businesses in other regions. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. So just get yourself postured for that, okay? Posture yourself for other regions. That's all I'm going to say. Leave that right there. Hallelujah. But somebody called in, and I hope I ain't put the people to sleep tonight. Did I put y'all to sleep? <laughs> no, Lord ma'am. God, God, put me to sleep, All right, baby. God bless you. So what you doing now, woman of God? What you doing? Um, uh, sitting here with you. Okay. It's all well. Ma'am. It's all well. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. If God can't fix it, I want you to hear this tonight. If God can't fix it, it can't be done. Amen. What you find what you may be uh thinking is hard is not hard with God. I want Amen. you to give it to him and let him direct you. You hear me? Yes, sir. Give it to God. Let him direct your path. The Bible begins to declare, he says, when we acknowledge him in all of our ways, you know the word, he shall. That's a promise, woman of God. He shall direct our path. So let him direct you, okay? Thank you, sir. Amen. You be encouraged tonight. Thank you. I receive the word. Thank you. All right. I love you. I love you, too. God bless you. Hallelujah. Caller, you on the air. I hope I ain't put y'all to sleep. I guess if I was putting y'all to sleep, yeah. uh, Praise, God. Kill Praise, him. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Come on through, Mama. Yes. Thank you. Come on through, Mama. And y'all been yeah. crying for me for a long time, and I'm at home now. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, 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 
Yes, Lord. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Thank Lord. you, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise yeah, the yeah, mother. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, God brought me on too. He brought me on too, but the devil was trying to kill me, but look at me now. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory Hallelujah, to God. Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you thank praise, you, Jesus. God. We give thank you praise. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes, you, Lord. I thank him for my Hallelujah. life. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. Walked on out that house. Look. <laughs> you walked on out, Mother. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Nobody Hallelujah. needed for Jesus. Yes, Lord. Nobody. In the, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I thank you. Yes, Lord. I thank, thank you, Lord. You. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I rejoice with you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Oh, glory to God. I'm so happy for you, Mother. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I am so happy for you. Listen, yes, listen, Lord, listen, Jesus. honey. You have been yes, an inspiration yes. to me these last few weeks, and I have enjoyed praying for you. Hallelujah. Yes, I didn't have Lord. no doubt that God wasn't going to bring All you right. out. Yes, Jesus. Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. You sit, listen, mother, yeah, you, you just too. sent the devil running. You know that, don't you? All you right sent now. the devil All to right. fly. You sent him to fly. Come on here. He All mad right with now. you now. Oh, yeah, he mad. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Right. He was mad now. You have the victory. He mad now. He did all yeah, the way yeah. mad. But I'm stepping all oh, over yes, his head. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You Thank have you. the victory, mother. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, yes, God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm Lord. so happy. I'm so happy yes. to hear your voice tonight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. What an awesome testimony. Hallelujah. Yes, Glory yes, to God. You stay in the race, mother. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm yet praying for you. All right, now. <laughs> love you. I love you, too. Thank you for calling. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I feel like running. My shakatabaya. In God, all right. Hallelujah. The effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. Y'all better get you a prophet in your circle. Y'all heard what I said. You can have everybody in your circle, but you need a prophet in your circle. Somebody who can see what you can't see. Somebody who can see what you might miss. You can be a good seer, but sometimes even me, I'm a, I can, I'm a good seer, but sometimes I may miss it. I need a prophet in my circle. Come on. We got one more time for one more caller. Caller, you on the air. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. How you? My I'm name is than yourself. My name is Shanique. I'm from St. Louis, and I heard you. Okay, say it one more time. Your name is who? Shanique. Okay, and you're from St. Louis? Yes, ma'am. I'm looking for you. God bless you. Oh, okay. How are you doing? I'm fine with you. I'm great. Couldn't be better. If I was any better, I couldn't stand myself. Listen, what is it that you want the Lord to do for you, woman of God? Um, Let's cut the chain. What is it that you want you want God to do? You shouldn't have to think hard. You already know what you told him. Um, I want him to heal me. Mm-hmm. Give me yes. yes. Let me tell you. Ah, God said, a broken and a contrite spirit, I will no wise despise. 
He won't. He, see, the place that you're in, broken. He needs you to be broken. He don't need you to come out with a with an attitude. He don't need you to come out mean. He wants you to come out broken. And, you know, because it, what it says to him is, God, I'm submitted. I I need you, God. Ah, Do you believe God can heal you? Yes. Listen, he healed your grandmother, and he can yes. heal you, too. God just wants you to like get things back in the proper proper place. You've been in church. You know the will. You know the way. You know you got out of alignment. Some things got out of place. But God, this guy ain't saying God using this to punish you. But let me tell y'all something. God, will, he'll use whatever it takes, whatever he has to do to get our attention. This is just attention getter. He, You ain't been to die. You're not fixing to die. You're not about to die. I don't like to use the word fixing to, but you're not about to die. But this is an attention getter. You need God even more now, more so than ever. Won't you just surrender your life to God? Just surrender all of you to him. And our Father, I pray tonight. Give me your name again, baby. Shaniqua. Father God, I pray for Shaniqua tonight, Father, that you your will be done in her life. Father God, let her submit herself to you. Let her commit herself to you. Lord, let her just throw up her hands, oh God, and self-surrender tonight. Lord, hold your Shanda. For love Shanda, Father, I thank you tonight that you are a healer. I know you to be a healer, God. Lord God, strengthen her moral body right now, God. Lord, let her serve you, hallelujah, for the rest of her life. Lord, let her be an example, oh God, that young people can see you and her her, oh God, and they will want to turn their lives over as well. Father God, do it for her, oh God. Do it for her mother. Do it for her grandmother. Father God, heal this child tonight. I know you're not a child to some, but you're a child under me. So I'm calling you a child because I got daughters your age and probably whatever the case, but you're like a daughter. So, Lord, heal her tonight in the name of Jesus. And so in the morning, mother, when I connect you to prayer, give her name. Call her name. Give me her name so I can keep her name on my prayer uh, list to pray for. Amen. And we thank God for you tonight. And I thank God for your healing. You be encouraged, Tiff. Yes, ma'am. Amen. God bless. God loves you. Don't you ever forget it. He loves you. And it is his will that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. It's his will. See, we got to know God's will for our life. And God's will is that you prosper and be in good health. You hear me? And I want you to know the things that you've been going through. God's getting ready to turn some things around for you. Get in place. Get in position so that God can bless you like never before. He want to do it for you, but you got to get back in the right posture, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Lord. Hiya! Monday! Shabbat! And it is so, so it is. Submit your ways back to the Lord. Submit your ways back to the Lord. I can't stress that enough. Uh-huh. Ah! But I ain't going over that, all of that on the air. You call me on the off time. Inbox me on the off time. Amen? God bless you tonight. Yes, Thank you for calling me. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Clap your hands for Jesus. Come on. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise, all ye people of the Lord. Come on, let's praise him tonight before I get off of here. Come on, give him, oh, mighty God, we thank you. I got one more. I got another minute for one more caller. Caller, you on the air. Uh, uh, Pastor Anna, I just, this is Minister Emma from Brookhaven, Mississippi. I just want to thank you for being on the air tonight. And I, I'm thankful for that testimony that mother came on. She said Amen. she walked out in that hospital. She didn't say they rolled out in no wheelchair. She walked out in that hospital. But I'm so thankful the Lord brought her out in that hospital because he been hearing our prayers. Not only he heard yeah. our prayers, he been asking our prayers. But I'm so grateful to have Mother out in that hospital back at home. And praise the Lord for her, her help in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I thank you for yeah. this word, woman of God, that you brought to us. Psalms 91, in Jesus' name. And we will stand on that word, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for calling, woman of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen, y'all. Listen, I got one more, one more minute for one more caller. Caller, you on there. It's my time to shine. Woo! It's my time to shine. Hallelujah. Come on, Carla, you on the app. Hallelujah. Grace Hallelujah. and peace. Grace and peace. 
Glory to God. Carla, you on the air? How you doing? My name is Renisha Blackman, and I'm from St. Louis. God bless you. You say Renisha? Or Ready C. Say say it one more time. Oh, uh, Ready C. Oh my, I can't get that. Your last name Blackman. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, praise the Lord, woman of God. I couldn't get that first thing, but listen, we'll get it another time. But listen here, what do you want God to do for you tonight? Hallelujah. God won't listen here, woman of God. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of financial stress that you're having, but I see God giving you a new place to stay. I see God blessing you with a new place to stay because you need it, you want it. And God said, even though you may not have all the money, but I'm going to do it because I'm God. Sometimes God, listen, God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Do y'all believe what I'm telling y'all tonight? Yes. Hallelujah. Do, are you in need of a new home, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. And to well, bring saying, my daughter home. And to bring your daughter home. Yes. Wow. Look at God. Amen. And God mm-hmm. can do just that. And heal my body. And heal your body too, huh? Yes, ma'am. He can do, he can do all of those things. Hallelujah. But I know God's getting ready to give you a new home. Mm-hmm. You're getting ready to stabilize your living. He said, I'm going to stabilize your living so I can stabilize your life. He said, I love you just that much. I'm going to stabilize your living so I am so I can stabilize your life. Because once you get the proper living and you ain't got nobody over your head, under your head, around you, you know what I'm saying. God said, ah, then you can see me. Then you can hear me. Then you can see sometimes God said he be trying to talk to you. And you ain't listening. You ain't hearing. Because so many other people <laughs> is in your ear. But listen. I praise God for you. Call call back in next week. We'll be back on Tuesday night. Next week at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and on other times, but it's 6 p.m. Central, my time. Listen, you guys, that is the last call I can take tonight. Listen, it's been real good. It's real been real fun. I bless the Lord for y'all. Y'all, this has been, oh, my Shonda. Oh, I feel Jesus, but I got to go. Listen, it's been real. Keep it real with Dr. Apostle Sylvia Hunter. See you again next time. God bless you. Shalom.